Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose. Tonight, 12-12, 2010. It's 14 minutes after midnight in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm doing a follow-up, a part two of Have You Ever Thought Of? That one I finished moments ago. Have you ever thought of part two? And the reason I'm doing this, this is um, for a few reasons. And, and one, I wanted to go in and pull out a um, verse out of the Bible. And it's John 10, 16. John 10, 16. Jesus was talking to his disciples and he told them, he said, brothers, I want you to know that there are other flocks. There are other sheep, meaning you're not the only ones or we're not the only ones. And he did say to that, they must come under Jesus as well when Jesus died for the sins of humans, for man, they had to come under that same blanket of protection. And um, But he did say, and he didn't elaborate, he didn't say anything else. A lot of people interpret that as being, yes, perhaps other people, other planets. And um, But someone was telling something to me just the other day and really made a lot of sense you know just a 200 year span of time in human history look what could be accomplished from 1800 or say 1811 or 1810 to 2010 look how far we came along now from 2010 to 2210, how far do you think we will go? So, when Jesus, when God destroyed the earth by water, and Noah had to build the ark, he did it because the Nephilim had intermingled too much with humans and they got out of hand and and they were a um i guess in today's terms you call them a kind of a wild bunch but they were in uh it's so bad the whole earth had to be destroyed except for the few that was on noah's ark and um so a lot of that, I understand that, um, you know, maybe, again, there's a 200-year time span um, here and there. And, and But my point is, if they had the great cities at the bottom of the, uh, of the valleys, which is now under the ocean, did they have... Uh, a way of travel. Now we see that. We see many, many examples of, of drawings where, where there were travel. I mean, look, they had to be so far in advance of us really to build the, the pyramids. Um, we can't do that today. And there's this little thing called a coral castle, I think, is in Coral Gables, Florida, something like that. YouTube it, and you'll be blown away to see that a 120-pound man built that whole thing. He he and he alone moved coral that weighed several tons, um, 20 tons for some, 11 tons for a gate that so pivoted and so balanced so well that you can pivot it with your fingers. But yet a 120-pound man set that gate in place. 
you know, how did he figure this out? So there's a lot that we don't know. And um, a lot that I feel that others did know, and some of it got passed along. I think that uh, God builds, creates with his voice, and his voice is, well, he, he, you know, it could be a frequency, it could be a shout, um, but God does like shouts, he does. When uh, the, the walls of Jericho fell, he said, march around the city seven days, into the seventh day, blow your trumpets and shout at it. When he did, the walls fell. So a lot of things that God do is, is with your voice. You can do a lot more with your voice than you think you can do. Your voice has a power in it of life and death and um, also has a power in it whether you want to be a Christian or whether you want to take your chances and see if there's another place out there that um, take a gamble see if there's a hell or not I don't want to take that gamble but but my point is Jesus did say to his disciples I want you to know that I have other sheep out there, other flocks. They didn't know what he meant, and it was never explained. Some people say, oh, that was probably people over in in Russia or people in England or people in the United States like the Indians. You know, I don't know, but I don't think so. I think he was speaking of others, meaning somewhere else. Um, I think. God created many others out there, and it and, and uh, they tried to count the planets and the stars and everything, and they said, "Okay, we come up with a hundred trillion billions. That's a number that you can't you." you if, if you can count by the millions, one million, two million, three, and get on up to 100 trillion billions, you'd be sitting here for about a million years doing it. So, um, anyway, there are a lot of unexplained things here. There's a lot of unexplained uh, finds. There's uh, one, for example, in South America around the Mayans, where they did find a tunnel, and of course they closed it off, and they don't tell people about it. This tunnel led into a great tunnel, and this tunnel that it led into is big enough to fly planes in. But with no visible wiring or no visible light bulbs or anything like that, as they walked into this tunnel, it lit up. As they walked out of an area, the area they just went through went out. You know, so... Light appeared wherever they walked. And they said, uh, claim to have in the north and in the south pole a 60 mile wide entrance into Earth. Both of them are always cloud covered, and uh, from time to time they are not. And Google um, has taken both of them, I think. I do know South Pole because someone had a picture of it from an airplane they took. And they still have it, and they tried to put it on the internet, and it keeps coming off. But uh, the picture shows the hole, and then Google smears them out, like they smeared out everything that people said. Oh, look at this on on Mars, and look at this on the Moon. They smear those out. So there's a lot that's been hidden from us. Um, but are there other people? Are there other beings out there? I say yes. Or are they mean? I say if they're mean, they're fallen angels and God has complete control of them. If they're nice, God has complete control of them. If he made them, they have to go under the, the blood of Jesus. And if it's not there, then he didn't make them. So there you have it. Jody Wolf exposed.